Welcome to GC Cars. My name is Eric and today we're going to take a walk around around this 2021 Mercedes AMG E63 S wagon. Yeah, I'm um, quite quite the right, I must say. You can see all the stats here on your right hand side so you know exactly all the details and all the specs about this specific E63 S. Of course, this is the wagon variant. You can get it as a sedan, as a wagon, the E63 S. I love the wagon. I think it's ridiculous that we have a wagon that has 600 horsepower and I love that fact. And in terms of the, the, the lineup, honestly, I think the C-Class, the C63 looks best as a sedan. The E-Class needs to be had as a wagon and the S-Class needs to be had as a coupe because you wanna have all the luxury in the front, right? Not in the back. But that's just my personal opinion. This is the E63S and as always, guys, we have a full on review about this specific car just in the top right hand corner where we go but the interior the exterior we talk about it all and of course we have a whole lot of fun in it so uh yeah make sure to check that out in the top right hand corner and additionally to that we also have three pov three pov drives night highway and city pov drive and we have an extra video which is just dedicated to the sound of it where we do everything from revving it to flybys startups different modes so you can hear every single combination of sounds this e63s can make now without further ado i think we start off with the styling and of course this is the facelifted variant so we have the new headlights as one thing at first i wasn't a big fan of it but now i think it's gorgeous i think it looks amazing i love it we also of course have the pan americana grill we get for the amgs which just looks great we have our amg logo naturally on here and for the first time we have i mean the gla the gle and the gle we also had this design because we have the sport packages for the first time we actually have it functional and not locked off so you see the huge cooling inlets in here and of course i just love how it's so exposed it just looks really sporty really aggressive and the hood up here with the creases if you walk by it like this i think it just looks like water you know it's just like you standing close to the beach and it's just waves rolling in and it just looks really nice, I think, really nice. But the next thing I like, I, I just, this, this front is my favorite part of this whole car and, and the wagon part, obviously, but look at how white this is. Look at how white. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, I'll be honest, with the, with the wheels turned like this. Here would have been normally, and then it's just like white. <laughs> super nice, super white. We got a V8 bi-turbo badge for Matic Plus, of course, on the side. And these are Pirelli P. Zeros, which you can see uh, pick up pretty much everything very sporty tires very um, very grippy I can tell you that and the cool thing is about this alignment here with Pirelli right on AMG looks great of course these wheels 20 inch matte black wheels these are optional and we don't have the carbon ceramic brakes but as long as you don't really track it honestly shouldn't really need them we got our AMG brakes and we got our drilled and slotted brake calipers which is the uh, Break discs, I mean, of course, sorry, <laughs> break discs. Just looks great, looks great. And of course, um, as you can see, we have the um, roof open a little bit, just so it's not too hot once we get inside. It's a wagon, so it's just, yes, 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 much approved. Towards the rear, which is, I think, the only area that actually gotten a little worse in the facelift, because I liked the old style taillights. They were just really cool, it's super hard to describe them, but um, these ones, I mean, these are fine. You find just a little more bland, I think. The old one, I'll show you a picture of those, just so you know uh, what the old ones were like. They just looked amazing, while well, these ones are, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. But we still, of course, got our E63S badge and our AMG badge, which just look great. And as this one has the night package, we have blacked out exhaust tips right here. The diffuser is surprisingly, surprisingly not that aggressive, honestly, on this E63S. Would expect it to be a bit more aggressive, but I'm totally fine with it. And our tips actually say AMG as well on both sides. It's just very hard to see here. And they're kind of fake. As you can see, those are the actual dual pipes back there. Uh, but they still look good, so I'll give it a pass. I'll give it a pass. Now, um, we've taken a look at the outside. Let's take a look at the inside. Now, we can just once more maybe see how wide it is. But let's go inside. It just looks so good. It just looks so good. I love it. Gorgeous car. Gorgeous car. But let's go inside. So we have the black on black, but 
we love the yellow contrast stitching, which just looks great. And I love, look at these accents. We have different materials. So we have re regular leather, we have perforated leather. And there's like the suede leather, and then we have the contrast stitching. Well, this is the piping, this is the stitching. It's just so nice. And of course, we got our Faltabach, or in German, a Faltabach. Up here, the logo for AMG and stuff. Ah, oh, it looks good, it looks good. Let's go inside. And we also have soft closed doors. There we go. Let me actually slide back a little so you can see, of course, memory seats. We have the premium package, so these are cooled and ventilated, and we can do that at the same time as I turn it on, which uh, sounds redundant, but actually that fulfills the purpose. It's getting pretty hot in here, so let me first off turn on the ignition so I can roll down the windows. Thank you. Okay. Let's go back into the home menu here. And now let's start it up. There's two ways to start it. You can just start regularly, or you can go for the emotion start. All you have to do for that, this is a little awkward with one hand, but you have to hold one of the paddles while pressing, of course, the brake, just like every other car. And while pressing one of the paddles, you have to press the start stop button, which I'm just trying to get you an angle here, but it's just surprisingly hard. Let me just, yeah, there we go. That's the engine start stop button. I don't know if we can focus on this distance. So we have to press these at the same time. Like I said, a little awkward with one hand, but we can get it. So this is the emotion start. Once, oh my God, this is hard, sorry. <laughs> there we go. And um, yeah, so this starts it with a, with a bit more higher revs and it, filled, uh, and it switches the exhaust. Instantly after it switches it off though, and we can turn this back on. Let me just quickly uh, turn, off, turn down the AC. And like I said, we can both heat and cool at the same time. This is just blinking for you. For me, it's not blinking. It's because it's LED lights, um, which actually, like I said, fulfills the purpose. But let's just put this onto one because we don't want to have too much sound here. Okay, airflow one should be fine. Now, let's take a brief listen. We got houses here in the distance, so it's, we cannot be too loud, but let's just do a little bit. That's with the exhaust closed, so let's turn it into fun mode. And that's just a brief hint at how this is sounds. Like I said, we have a full-on review um, of the sound, a full pure sound video, just in the top right-hand corner, where you can find that if you just really want to listen to this AMG from like all the angles. We have the hood, we have interior, we have exterior, we have it all, we literally have it all. So let's put it back into regular, just so we have a little less droning noise. We have the optional carbon fiber here, $2,500 Canadian. Not the biggest fan of carbon fiber, but it's still very nicely executed. So it's just a little bit of a styling cue. Of course, we have AMG on here and underneath. We have our phone charger, our cigarette lighter, and our cup holders. Let's close this again, but it looks pretty nice. And of course, we have our ambient lighting everywhere down here, which especially at night, looks really nice. We have a night POV drive as well. If you want to see more of the lighting about this car. And of course, I, love, I just love how this, all the yellow, it just looks great. It looks really nice. And this is of course the new style Mercedes AMG steering wheel, which on one hand, if you want to switch drive modes, switching down here, Sport Plus, Race, and we have quite a few comfort, individual, slippery. I'll be honest, I drove it in Sport Plus the whole time. <laughs> except for maybe in a residential area at night where we turned it to comfort, comfort so we don't annoy everyone. And then on the left-hand side, we have this little puppy here, which um, this is for traction control, for example, exhaust, but we can switch them, so just press it. Now we have suspension, transmission, we have the auto start stop, AMG dynamics, so we can switch them all around for whatever we want or whatever we want to click on. So I just do this, this most of the time, right? Actually, honestly, most of the time I drove the traction control on because this thing has 600 horsepower. And um, I'm not messing with that. I'm not messing with that, not yet, no. But yeah, we got the two spokes here like kind of going around. At first, when I thought when I saw it in pictures, I wasn't a huge fan, but this works super well. It works better than the regular Mercedes steering wheel that we've had in the other Mercedes's. I like this a lot, especially this. It's great, this is a capacitive touch button for our, um, for our volume controls. 
works great and of course we have our shifters up here which i might be able to get you a bit of a different angle on there you go perforated leather up here looks really nice now this obviously is super customizable i don't want to go too much into depth here because um <laughs> we only have so much time but um let's just uh we can go like navigation and get a map up here and you can you can, you can as you can see you can <laughs> get a lot of stuff displayed in here i normally have it with a tachometer and then on the left hand side we have right now speed we can have everything you can have uh, from reset so how much I've driven so I've driven 287 kilometers so far and I'm averaging 17.5 liters per 100 kilometers gone a bit better because um I've driven I was driving some highway yesterday on the highway a little bit <laughs> but yeah like I said uh, sport plus the whole time <laughs> so you can you can display a lot of stuff you can have everything you want there's probably thousands of combinations I don't really exactly know but there's many tire pressures temperatures that shows you uh, the horsepower and torque you produce the boost what you drive in drive mode wise G meter consumption once again map and that's just like one configuration right because you can also go through this and click on different designs so this is super sport the one I like sport is which we get in every Mercedes super sport is only for AMG's and then we can we can make the right bubble a map, we can make the left bubble a map, we can make this a map, whatever you want. We can we can do it all. We can also take a map and put it in full screen mode. We can customize our head-up display, which we have up there. There's so much here to show, and I just want to briefly go through it, honestly. Then we have classic, which I'll change this, this to that one. Let's just show you the full screen map real quick. There we go. So we can go down, down, and full screen display. There you have a full-on map. You can make it so it's tilted as well, of course, right? Just like you can with pretty much every map. Let's go out of that one again. So then we have one more mode, which I also like to use, but like I said, I'm driving this thing in Sport Plus all the time. <laughs> it wouldn't really fit, so we have understated, which uh, also looks really nice, which is really <laughs> not display much. We got a clock and we got our speed. And uh, that, that's pretty much it. But let's go back to Super Sport and to the AMG performance screen that I want, not the map, new, 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 new. Um, performance. And there we go, that's how I like it. Then up here, we obviously have, whoops, sorry, we have more stuff we have. We can use our trackpad to, to go through it or we can just use a touch screen. I'm just gonna use the touch screen so I can hold you closer to that. Actually, I can maybe do both, there we go. So we get navigation. I mean, this is all standard stuff. We get Sirius XM, Comfort. This is where the interesting stuff starts. So of course we have AMG track pace. So we can, um, can basically configure tracks or there's some preset tracks, which um, I think we can find here. So you can put your lap types, right? So we have Speedway, uh, the AMG Speedway, we have Monza, Algarve, and all the good tracks. We have Barcelona, Catalonia, Spa, Franco, Sharm, Coda, Fuji. So you got, you got a bunch of really cool tracks. And of course you can make your own. So you can get your lap times, you can have drag racing, and then you can get tel telemetry for your lap times and see where you braked, where you accelerated, how your steering was and all this. So you can, you can really do a lot in terms of um, yeah, information for that. And then we have our AMG performance screens once again have a bunch of stuff here so we have a g-meter we can like, see how much we accelerate and how much we're braking we can see um, how much power we make and I just want to say it feels really good to have a screen that lists your horsepower and it goes up to 700 that's pretty cool not gonna lie <laughs> it's just uh, it's a little extra but I mean like let's make 603 horsepower officially probably a little underrated but um, yeah it's pretty nice and then we got one more thing I know we have so much of, co of course we also have um, hey Mercedes how can I help? Massage me. Massage me. I was a little far to the right. Now I thought, thought I was the, uh, <laughs> the passenger. No, but um, normally this works pretty well. I've had haven't had an issue. So we have a lot of different massages. So it's, I like the wave massage. Let's put that in. Then we can switch up here. We can switch between how heavy or like how intense it is. This is a regular one. So now it. I don't know if you can see this. Might be able to spot it. So now I'm getting massaged basically. And like I said, we can at the same time we can put the heated seats and the cool seats on. This is 
it's so relaxing, trust me. <laughs> then we have seat comfort, where we can do seat kinetics, we can adjust the lumbar. If we want, we can adjust the side bolts, which is really cool. So let me just show you the passenger seat. And this is from zero to 10, and I'm just gonna push it up. And 10, and zero. So this really starts hugging you. Like it hugs you real tight. Like even for me, five foot seven, pretty lean built. Um, I can't go over seven. I'll be honest. So everybody fits in this. And we have dynamic seat. We have so many features. Heat seating balance. We can change. <laughs> like uh, there's so much stuff you can do. So much stuff. You can really adjust. Of course, ambient light. We have energizing programs. We have energizing comfort. Energizing coach. You can make. You can do little workouts with a seat massager. So basically, um, you have to press yourself against the seat, and then it pushes against your muscles. So you kind of get a workout in. I'll be honest. There's too much to show here. I showed you the most important things, but there's too much to show. These here, set our intensity for the individual vents, so we can close them and open them. Here's all our um, climb control buttons. Here we can select um, radio, navigation, and so on, because that's here, because normally it's around the trackpad, but the trackpad is reserved for our manual and like all these, like manual shifting, suspension, traction control, auto start stop, parking, finding parking, and then we have the um, exhaust button of course so this is all reserved for this right we have a center console which is currently as always taken up by my stuff here um, not really that big I'll be honest but you have more storage to your left here your storage in here obviously in your center con and your glove box and this just looks really nice in general then we also have this sunroof which only opens this way it can't slide anywhere and you can cover it up but it looks still pretty nice um i like this also this has the distronic plus with steering assist so it automatically changes lanes and all that it can drive itself not officially and you still have to watch out because it's not a flawless system by any means and it's not meant to be um well okay but it's, it's, it, it is not they try but it's not of course because this is not like a proper autonomous system it's just an assist but it's really good watch my highway pov if you want to see how good this thing is at com almost driving itself of course we almost we also have our burmester sound system Needed a tiny bit of tweaking from when I got in, but I think I got it pretty good now, and it sounds a little better, of course, like I said. Soft closing. Again, the back, which also is just as nice as the front. So once again, looks great. We got some, as an expensive car, so we can call it peasant blockers instead of sunshades. Shout out straight pipes. There you go. We have Little bit of storage back here which is actually interesting because it's kind of like a like a folder almost right it's just it's not really a pouch in the classic sense a bit of storage down here um a tiny tiny bit of outlets well tiny bit of outlets. we have two usb c's which is nice that have c's and we have a phone uh cigarette lighter for our own dual zone climate control we can change stuff right here our seats them, themselves super comfortable also heated and of course we have more stuff back here we have our cup holders which open like this which adjust automatically to whatever bottle you might have in here Oops, that, there we go <laughs> so let's put that back that's the back row but you see um behind myself i have plenty of space actually this is not behind myself i've put this a long way back so there's plenty of space here in the back and now we only have two more things to look at which is the trunk Oh, I forgot about the soft close. No, just pop it up here. We can also kick too close and open. But it's really cool. This thing here, this cover slides in and out automatically. You don't even have to do it. Um, plenty of space. This is a wagon. You got so much space in here. We got grocery bag hangers. We got a cigarette lighter. We can put down the seats from here. There we go. If you want. And then we can put them back up from back here should be fairly easy seatbelt out and there you go of course we get isofix mountings everywhere if you want to get a child seat in here just don't accelerate too much if you have a child in the back okay <laughs> but um yeah no this is of course as a wagon you like this is so practical unlimited practicality essentially that's kind of the thing about the e63 s wagon right and why, why we like it so much because this all-in-one car and down here 
we've got our hood, which actually nicely opens by just pushing up. That's it. No left, right, nothing. I gotta speak up a little here because this engine is pretty loud. First of all, we got an air inlet right here. And then you can see the turbos. It's a hot V, right? So this, these are the cylinder banks for V8. And the turbos are in the middle, a hot V setup. And then with this one was built by Channer Yieldies. So thanks Channer for uh, building this engine for us. It's a wonderful engine. And uh, as you can see, it really fills out uh, the engine. <laughs> But I just about cramped this V8 in here. A little more space up here. Tiny, tiny bit. But um, no, it's just uh, it's a beautiful thing. Love it. And um, yeah, let's close this down again. Of course, we have some insulation down here. Up here, actually. And yeah, let's put it down. You got to put this down with a little bit of force because otherwise it doesn't close properly. I've been there. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a really nice car. Let me just... There you go put this up but that is the Mercedes AMG E63 S bit of a long walk around because there's a lot of stuff to talk about and to show but um, I hope you liked it like I said if we have a full review we have a sound video we have night POV highway POV we have a city POV we test different things and all those POVs and um, yeah no it's just I like it I like it a lot <laughs> anyhow guys if you like the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos. We upload every single week with a new review coming out every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've got a fixed schedule for videos coming, so you always know when to expect something. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and goodbye.